today's comedian. Please welcome to the show, Greg Murphy! Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Good to be. I, I had uh, I had one of these days where you just run into dumb people all day long. You ever had one of those? Start off my day, I run into someone just dumb as rocks. I go into a coffee store, I have to get coffee for five different people. Walk up to the counter, I go, can I have uh, two medium regular? Can I have a vanilla chai, a diet Pepsi, and a cream no sugar? The girl goes, is that going to be for here or to go? <laughs> Screw it, I'll drink all five right in front of you. Want to have some fun? <laughs> Comes to $17.95, I give her 20 She goes, do you have anything smaller? No, I just spent my last $18 bill down the street. I don't know that could have happened if only I had known. And I happen to be at a Dunkin' Donuts. We all love those places. Everyone's been in one. Love Dunkin' Donuts. I just can't stand that slogan. They jam it down your throat. America runs on Dunkin'. Every 30 seconds, America runs on Dunkin'. How about we change that slogan to something that makes sense for the company, like Dunkin' Donuts supplying your car with napkins for over 60 years. <laughs> there is not a car in New England that doesn't have 3,000 Dunkin' Donuts napkins. Center console. Every time you go in, you grab 3,000 more. What are you going to run into? An oil spill on the way to work one day? Show up at a flash flood and be like, I just went to Dunkies. We're good to go. I'll mop that up in a second. It's just a terrible slogan. Another one. Another one killing me. Domino's Pizza. You guys go to Domino's Pizza. I'm sure you can do this. You can go online now with Domino's Pizza. Make it very simple. You go online, you fill out your order, then you hit send. This is how crazy it's gotten. They send you back a tracking number so you can track your pizza. <laughs> this is how fat we've gotten as a country. I need to know that my pizza's out of the baking process and safely in the vehicle on its way to my house. And I know there's people in front of a computer like, I don't know why it stopped at Fifth and Main. Maybe the light's broken or there was an accident. Oh, it's moving now. Here comes our pizza. Here we go, here we go. It's getting out of hand with the food, I think. We're eating like crazy, getting a little fat. I don't know if you saw this in the news a couple of weeks ago. There's a story about how next year we may not have a lot of bacon. Not, no bacon, not a lot of bacon. <laughs> there are countries worried about food next year, we're worried about not a lot of bacon. <laughs> I can't wait to tell my grandfather, tell my grandkids about 2013, you don't know what it was like, we didn't have a lot of bacon. <laughs> oh yeah, the shortage, we had to wait in line to get to our bacon, and then when we got to our bacon, we only got a little bit of bacon. Do you know what it's like to just have an egg and cheese on a bagel? A regular cheeseburger, scallops wrapped in nothing? How did we live? I have no idea. <laughs> with that bacon shortage. <laughs> you guys all have fun, though. It's fun to be here. I've done some weird shows in my past. I did a fundraiser a couple weeks ago. I walked in, didn't know what I was walking into. I go to the guy I'm supposed to meet. I go, what's going on here? He goes, this is a fundraiser for an elderly driving service. We pick up old people, then we drop them off. <laughs> I go inside, youngest person in the crowd, 92. Oldest dead, happened right before the show. <laughs> but they kept him, they didn't want to disrupt the crowd. So I go up to the guy, I go, what should I know about the show? Should I not offend anybody? He goes, I wouldn't make fun of elderly people. <laughs> uh, probably handle that. But 10 minutes in, I, things are going well. They like me. So I started getting a little loose. I thought I could sneak one in. I go, you know what? I got into an accident with an elderly driver. Uh, this one might be my fault. This guy was in an 86 Cadillac. I was in the frozen food section. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they turned on me real quick. Uh, <laughs> A tennis ball whizzed by my head, which like I, was, I think was unscrewed from a walker and thrown at my way. It's just one of those awkward feelings. I deal well with awkward feelings. Some of the most awkward things in life happen every day. You ever been in the bathroom stall? Somebody knocks, you have no idea what to say. Sometimes you make noises, you tap your feet just so they know you're there, and, they, and you feel awkward. I try to make them feel awkward. Every time I'm in the bathroom stall, someone knocks, I just look down and go, come in. <laughs> they run away. I don't know what to do when they ever come in. I'm gonna get out. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yeah. That's fun. I, I go to my grandparents' house. They have a little, little humor in my life. They, everything new happens to them, and it's very weird. Like when they get a new cable provider, it just happened. Now they have caller ID. Somebody calls the house, it shows up on TV. It's a fantastic little feature. But what happens is they don't know what's going on, and he's watching the Red Sox game. I'm sitting next to him on my phone, in my pocket, middle of the game, I rolled over and hit last call on my cell phone, my name and number pop up on the screen. My father goes, holy crap, I think you won season tickets. <laughs> Just it's stuff that they don't know. My mother's like that too, she's great, she's getting old. I had to drive her to the store, and uh, it, was a, it was a nice day, I had to drive her to the pharmacy, it was a little cold, and I have a newer vehicle, so I hit the heated seats button, but a mile down the road, she goes, pull over, pull over, I'm peeing my pants, pull over. <laughs> That's what happens when you get older, I guess. <laughs> My poor dad, too. He's a, he's a hockey fan. Loves, my father loves the hockey. And, uh, it, it's a little rough on him because now they're not playing right now. His favorite team, the Bruins, aren't playing. So what he does in the past, he would root for another team. 
Three years ago, the Bruins lost. He goes, Greg, Bruins lost. I'm now a Chicago Blackhawks fan. I go, great, Dad. He goes, where can I get a Blackhawks jersey? So I go on eSporting Sporting Goods. So I said, have one of those. Why don't you try Dick's Sporting Goods? He goes on the computer and types in dicks.com. <laughs> it's OK if you've ever been to dicks.com. You're not going to find a lot of sporting goods on this website. <laughs> he came out of the computer with a face on the kid, just seeing the end of the world. I go, what happened? They didn't have any Blackhawks? He went, no, they had a lot of those. <laughs> you guys got a lot of fun. Thanks for having me.